go. This is your moment, right? You earn this. You earn this. Thank you. One minute, Tarpon. One minute. You work really hard. Keep that upper body still. Kill it tonight, all right? Keep it on the hash. Keep it on the hash. Bring it up. Bring it forward. Forward. Line it up, Marie. Ready? One, two, three. Pull tight. Breathe warm air. Think. Use your eyes. That's your key to success. Joining us from Tarpon Springs, Florida, please welcome the Tarpon Springs Outdoor Performance Ensemble. Let's go, trumpets. You got this. Well, this show uh, is entitled Man Vs. Machine. Um, what we want to do is explore kind of where we're at uh, currently in our society and, and all the advances that we've made. Uh, and that's kind of what you see in the first movement, celebrating man's accomplishments. Uh, you know, one of the lessons, we always try to find a lesson that will help the students uh, in their lives. And one of the lessons about that first movement is being able to take a risk, uh, not backing down from a challenge, and always exploring onward, trying to find, you know, what could be the next thing uh, that, that could improve our life around us. There was this quote that kind of motivated the show that the work of 50 machines could not outdo one extraordinary man. The interesting thing about the show is it really created an opportunity for us to create something between the acoustical and the electronics, uh, and the electronics is something that uh, obviously our society and whole uh, is looking towards and, and, and is a part of our future right now. It's a lot of part of the entertainment world as, as well. It allowed us to split the color guard up actually into two characters, uh, which was, has been really unique for us because they have a completely different personalities. So we've had to create a completely different vocabulary. One of the challenges we had is in movement five when the machines take over, then we tried to take the acoustical instruments and, and put a, an electronic treatment to them. So you'll see that and you'll hear that in, in the vocoder. We have a guy up on the towers up there speaking, he's doing drum speak, but then we put a vocoder to his voice to make it sound more machine-like. We do the same thing to the alto sax player, who's an incredible alto sax player. You know, then we add the vocoder so it looks like you know, the machines are taking over. very important that your performers are, are fully informed in your intent uh, because they cannot be fully committed as performers without all the information uh, needed to do that. It's interesting because once you explain the storyline and, and the objective of every nuance in the show, then it is them as performers that make that special. I thought the kids did a great job. You know, as we talked about all year long, we, were, we have a motto, we rehearse the way we want to perform. So we kind of went into this tonight like it was nothing different. It's what we do every single day and we kind of try to put that back into life. After we got off the field for our performance, it was one of the best feelings I've ever had with our entire band. Everyone was happy, positive, exhausted because they put everything they had into the performance. The Bands of America crowd is the best of anywhere. And that's the greatest thing about this activity, whether it's Tarpon Springs or it's any other band. It's a place where these kids who work so hard on a daily basis, I'm talking all bands, can come and be rewarded uh, for, all their, for all their great, extraordinary efforts.